KK's Priest has released their debut album, Sermons of the Sinner. This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. It's the opinion of Mr. Morrison. Of course, many respect it. You don't have to agree with it. Mr. Morrison feels some. there's a few cool songs on there, but the album go, is um, borderline lawnmower type music with the um, vocals of um, Ripper Owens. Ten tracks on there, including the, 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 the beginning track, Incarnation. Then you got Hellfire, Thunderbolt, Sermons of the Sinner. That has been um, released a while back. Um, Strackley Doty, Eat Diablo, which is, which is an okay song. Raise Your Fist is all right. Brothers of the Road, that was the more cheesy commercial song. That's my favorite song off of um, Saints of the Sinners. And it's the only one that I'm going to buy via digital download. Brothers of the Road is, is all right. Then we go through Metal Through and Through, Wild and Free, Hail for the Priest, and then the last track, Return of the Sentinel, which is a nine-minute track, which has some good parts in it. If you're not subscribed to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there that subscribed, thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. With the um, KK's Priest Sermons of the Saint release, Mr. Morrison feels that if you like the um, era of Jewish Priest from Painkiller on, including the Ripper Rowan's material, you might like this record. But if you like the Jewish Priest music that they made in the 1980s, you might not like it as much. You know? Mr. Morrison has a right to his opinion. He is not a fan of the entire album from KK's Priest Sermons of the Sinner. What's your take on Sermons of the Sinner? Friends, you can leave the comments here. Shame, shame, shame.